Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create some visual effects, such as a fire, and then attach that fire onto a torch, so we just have a single object that we can place in our game. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. So the first thing I want to do is go to Marketplace, and I've already added this into my Marketplace here, and we want to download the Particle Systems, and it's a project or a component that's made by myself. So we're gonna import that. And we are going to pretty much grab everything here. We objects, scripts, and the sprites. So we're gonna import everything. And once we're done, we can just close the library. Now, if you haven't used this plugin before, I'll have a link to it in the description. But basically we wanna go into our room and we wanna set up the fire first. Let's go into our objects and let's grab the circle one. We're gonna drag it in and let's just scale it up by two. And now that we have that, we'll bring it up one, double click and go to variables. So in here, this is where we can change everything we want about this particular particle system. What we wanna do is we wanna change the alpha start and the alpha end. Let's say we start it at 0.1 and then we wanna end it at zero. I want the starting color to be a little bit of a brighter orange. So it's almost white. And now let's change the direction min and max to say 80 and 110. We'll come down to the life min and max. And right now we have 40. So we'll leave 40 and set the maximum at 120. Let's go down to the shape and change the shape from pixel into flare. Now let's change the size minimum to be 0.5. And we want a wiggle or sorry, not wiggle the increase to be deducted. So minus 0.01. The speed minimum of which our fire can go up will be 0.5. So let's run our game and see what this actually looks like. So you can see here that we have some nice fire effects going. So let's add a little bit of smoke here at the top. Now what I wanna do is I'm going to create a new instance layer just so I can keep these separate. Again, I'll drag my particle system over and I'm gonna set this grid to something a little bit smaller so that we can place it on top and kind of make a snowman. So let's double click and go to variables. And this one, we're gonna change a couple things. I want the start, the middle and the end. So we're gonna change the start to be 0.1 the middle to only be half, and then the end will be completely transparent. I'm gonna change all three colors here. We wanna have the first color to be black and the last color to also to be black. And then we're gonna pick a gray to be kinda in the middle. Again, we'll set our directions to be 80 and then a direction max to be 110. Let's give it a wiggle of two. And then we'll come down to our life and we'll change our life to say something like 80 and 190 for the max. Now, if we keep going down, we want particle count and we want this to happen every 10th frame. So one out of 10 times, we'll have this particle happen. Let's change it from pixel to say smoke. We'll also change the min, the max, and the increase. Our minimum will be 0.3 and the maximum size of the smoke will be 0.6. The increase being negative 0.001. And then finally, we'll come down to speed minimum of 0.5 and we'll leave the speed maximum of one. Now, if we run this, we will also have the fire and every 10th frame particle will have some bit of smoke. So how do we take this information here and put it into an actual object that we can just place within our scene? So to do this, let's actually close the room that we have. Let's duplicate it, call this room two, and let's start fresh here. We're gonna change the order so that room two loads up. Now in room two, I'm gonna get rid of the instances and I'm going to make a new object I'll just call this one O Torch, and I want to assign my torch sprite, and it's an amazing drawing here. So we're going to have a create event, and then we also need a begin step event. In the create event, we're going to instantiate the two particle systems that we had. So the first thing we need to do is we need to instantiate the fire particle system. And once again, we're just instantiating that circle system that we had. The next thing we need to do is basically go through each of those values and update them. And what I mean by that is we'll go through and let's update the alpha to what we have. So we had the start, the middle, and the end. And then we'll update the colors. We'll update the direction, the life, the shape, size, and the speed. And now once we have all that, whenever we go into this room and we add our torch in here, if we hit F5, it's going to be created at the center of our torch, but you can see that we automatically have that fire happening. So now that we have that, we have to go through and we have to create the smoke particle system. So once again, we'll just instantiate the smoke particle system using the circle system. Then we'll go through and we'll update all those values. So we need to make sure the additive is going to be set to false because I don't want this to be blended. We'll set up our alpha, our color. We'll also add our direction, the life. Let's also update the particle count in this case the shape, the size, and then finally the speed. 
So if we hit F5, we have our two particle systems being instantiated. And you can see here at the top, we kind of have some smoke happening. So this is all pretty good, but you know what's gonna happen is what happens if we move this with our mouse or we need to update this position? Well, that's what this begin step is for. One of the features of the particle system is we can actually update the position. So if I update the X and Y position to each particle system, so for instance, the fire particle system is gonna be at the current position X minus four, the Y position minus 18, and then updating the smoke, that will put it in a little bit of a different position, which will give us the effect here instead of being here at the bottom. Now, the nice thing about this is I can come into my room and I could zoom out. Let's just come down here and I can copy and paste this and I'll put this over here, double click and say flip. And what's gonna happen is automatically this is gonna work because we're using the particle systems that are created from objects. Yeah, we may have to do a little bit of modification on where the size is because we're using the image X scale to flip it, but you can see it's working pretty good. We could also add in offsets and everything that we need to in here in the variables. But now all we really have to do is take one of these torches and drag and drop it into our room and automatically those particle systems are created for us. The smoke is handled and we don't have to really do anything. How cool is that? Thank you all for watching and please like or leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. A special shout out to the following in no particular order. Ashby, Ian, Darth Wolf, Victor, Robert, Vil, Paul, Annie, Edward, Angel, and Alex. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone for the support. I'll see you in the next video.